Today's on the IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. I'm here at York Hall in Bethnal Green with undefeated prospect Charlie Edwards. He just made it 3 0 Char against a tough opponent. I know your hands are a little bit in pain from his hard head. Talk me through the fight. Yeah, the fight went as we planned. We, um, we decided, we looked at him, we knew he was tough, we knew he hadn't been stopped after 22 fights. So um, the plan was to get the rounds under my belt. I'm looking to move full, full, through this flyweight division very quickly. So the round, rounds are vital for me, as well as it's good to get a stoppage. I benefited so much more from the rounds. We chose that as an opponent because he is a step up, he's never been stopped, he's tough, he's been moving all, the, all the, the top top fighters, he's just done 10 rounds of Ian Butcher. So the, yeah, it was, it was a great fight, I warmed into it nice with my jab, peppering him with a jab, he couldn't get near me, my speed, my movement, and then I started, as, as the rounds went on, I started what I love to do, I, I love Sugar Ray Leonard, and I started trying to pull off some of his moves, just practicing them, but it's all fun and games, like, it's a program, I'm learning every step of the way, and I'm really enjoying doing it. I know that obviously with such a division like you're in, there's not a lot of fighters, there's not a lot of fights to have, that's why a lot of journeymen come over. So you, you've made a statement by beating the guy you did today. Is he looking for titles now already? Uh, we've got one more six rounder. I think that's going to be under Scott Quigg on the card in um, Manchester. Or Eddie just said maybe the 31st in Hull. And then we're going to step up to an eight in September. And then we're pushing for the title, we're pushing for that English title. Lewis Longman, you better enjoy that strap while you last because I'm coming for it. He said get past Brett Fryder, just done it, done it in, in a fashionable style. You had a close fight with him, I won every round. I'm looking forward to taking your strap away from you. Well, <laughs> so you're moving on now from the Prince Patel thing. Prince Patel, who's Prince Patel? Perfect Patel. Mate, I've beat him five times. I think he's up on my mental piece at home, I've beat him that many times. He's a joke, he's with Warren now. He's, he's gone on the opposite camp, he's gone that way. So we ain't gonna meet him until big titles, English titles, British titles, we're not gonna meet. I would love to meet him, I'd love to end his career before it's even started, because all he is is mouth. He's made himself look very stupid to the British public. I know that some people were jumping on his back thinking he's the next Nazim. He'll get found out in the end. I'd like to see him against Brett Fyder, I'm sure he'll give him a, a tough test. Do you think you could end up getting to fight Prince Patel at British level? Will he get there? Will he get there? We'll see. We'll see if he'll get there, but I don't think he'll get there. Come up against a tough journeyman like he did in the ABAs, he couldn't even win an ABA title. And he gets beat, he gets found out. All he does is swing, his punches, misses half of them, no accuracy, and he's, he's a fool. He's a joke, he's an actual joke. And I'm fed up with him using my name to try and hype himself up. It's getting perfect, it's getting boring. People are going to look at him and say, bore off, is that all you've got to talk about? Well, a lot of boxers say they're going to make the statements in the ring because the mouth don't win you a fight. Exactly, yeah. Talk's cheap and his talk is very cheap. And all the, all, the, all the fighting, all the winning, all the everything is done in that ring. You can't, you can't hide, you can't run, you can't talk no more. So he can talk, 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 but one day I'll get my time and I'll give it to him yet again. So have you got a sort of time period when you're looking to fight for that English title? Or? Um, like I said, I've got three more fights, another six, no, it's another six rounder, an eight rounder at, um, at the O2 in September, and then we're going to push for it. Or X from Eddie, Eddie might like my performance there, he might just think I need one more, and then we're going to come for Lewis Norman. You can come on our matching show, you can box on Sky, I'm sure you would love that. Well, Charlie Edwards, you've got a bright career ahead of you and you've got plenty of options. In such a small division, yeah, there's not many people that don't want to fight you now, is there? Uh, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I can get British fighters to want to fight me still. I don't really want to go the journeyman route fighting all people from Poland or all over the thing. I want British fighters, it gets you more hype, moves me up the rankings and it puts me in content for the British title. Well, Charlie Edwards, like I said, watch out. It's, it, it, the fights are going to come your way. Get over the next hurdle and then hopefully we see you win the Ninja title. Just want to say one more thing. Yeah. I want to say thank you to Go Fit Go Box, who's my strength conditioning guy. He puts a lot of power into me. Um, your price by Folds Limited. He's just given me a living space and he um, gives me a nice monthly wage to make my boxing a lot easier. Muscle food to give me all my food and give my nutrition to help me make the weight the best I can. And Matt and Jim's my bear. I'm a part of the firm now, he, um, he helps me out when I want to go over there, he said he'd allow me to go and train out there whenever I want and um, yeah, so I'd, I'd like to say thank you and try boxing, they all make my job easy, I really couldn't appreciate it enough.
Well, pick up the sponsors. Cheers. They're keeping you going. Charlie Edwards. We'll see you back soon. Night of primetime boxing. Saturday on Sky Sports Box Office. To order, see Channel 491, press the green button or go to skysports.com slash Primetime Boxing, Saturday on Sky Sports Box Office. To order, see Channel 491, press the green button or go to skysports.com slash Brooke Gavin.